Unloading and Unstacking Trailers. This instructional video describes the steps that should be taken for the unloading and assembly of trailers. For unloading and unstacking trailers and all other forklift operations, the lift equipment operator must be wearing appropriate hand, eye, and foot protection. Using a forklift that has four and three quarter inch wide forks to unload the trailers, place the forks in the skid, ensuring that they are properly inserted into the fork openings of the custom skid. It is imperative that the load is secure and stable before removing it from the truck. Also, check before lifting that the banding has not been removed from the trailers. With snips in your cutting hand, use your other hand to hold down the banding to keep it from snapping back. Cut and remove the banding from the trailers. Using the forklift, place the forks into the designated loops located at the rear of the trailer. There will be signage on the fork loops for direction. Never lift more than one trailer at a time. Elevate one trailer at a time and move it to an open designated area. Lower the trailer to the ground. In order to release the tongue from the undercarriage, the plastic ties holding the tongue to the undercarriage need to be cut. But use caution here because the tongue will drop to the ground. This step should be done with the trailer on the ground. On the forklift again, slowly raise the trailer and swing the tongue forward. Once the trailer has been raised enough to swing the tongue past vertical, start to lower the trailer onto the ground in a slow, controlled manner. Make sure that the tongue is extended out in front of the trailer as it is lowered. Once the trailer is on the ground, the forklift can be removed and you can move on to assembly. Side panel installation is required for all trailers except the 4 foot by 6 foot. Start by loosening the nuts from the long bolts already installed on the panels using a 9 16 inch socket. Put the panels in place and use your rubber mallet to help guide the corners into their spots. Be sure to hit only the end of the side panel to avoid damage. Insert all bolts and nuts before tightening, including the corner bolts. The 3 8 inch by 7 inch bolts are used in the middle section of the panels and 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch are used at the ends of the side panels. Tighten using a 9 16 inch socket and wrench. For the installation of the tongue bolt, you should find that the tongue is already in place. Use the 3 8 inch by 6 inch carriage bolts and the 3 8 inch nuts to secure it in place. Be careful to not over tighten the nuts as this will dent the floor. Also, take caution when putting the bolt in place as the trailer wiring is in the tongue tube and you do not want to damage the wiring with the bolt. You can pull lightly on the wiring if it is blocking the bolt hole. When installing the load retention arm, use the 3 8 inch by 1 inch button head cap screw to secure the load retention arm to the front of the trailer. Bend the arm in slightly to help create pressure on the nut. Use a 732 inch hex key and 916 inch wrench on the nut to secure it. Note that the nut should be inside the corner post and the button head facing the inside of the trailer. In order to loosen the latch, a rubber mallet may be needed to swing the latch back and forth a couple of times. For the 5 foot by 10 foot trailers and the trailers with 13 inch tires, fender installation is required. For the installation of the fender, loosen the existing bolt that is securing the fender. Put the front bolt on loosely at first, then the top bolts, loosely again, before tightening both. Note that the bolts go on the inside of the trailer and nuts go inside the fender. Use 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch bolts and nuts. Use a socket extension and a 9 16 inch deep socket and wrench for tightening the bolts. For the assembly of the 4x6 trailers, which do not require the tongue to be swung out from under the trailer, start by cutting the plastic ties holding the tongue to the front of the trailer. Put the front rail on, then both side rails before securing the rails to the trailer posts. Use 3 8 inch by 2 inch bolts on each of the side rails to secure the corner posts. Use number 14 by 1 inch screws for both the front rail and the inner holes of the side rail. To tighten, use a 9 16 inch socket for the bolts and a 3 8 inch socket for the screws. Place the tongue tube into the front of the trailer and align it to the half inch holes. Using half inch by 3 and a half inch bolts and half inch nuts, secure this section to the trailer and tighten with a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket. Then, pull the wiring up through the middle of the channel. Once this step is complete, wrap the chains and wiring around the tongue and secure well. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the screws that retain the fork loops. Push the loops towards each other and remove. This step needs to be completed on all trailers regardless of size.